Hey, what's going on, beautiful world? It's your boy here, Wesley from Aiken Extra TV here on YouTube, the one place in the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And I am here to talk to you about this crazy week about Big, of, of Big Brother, all right? Um, I just got finished doing an exclusive interview with Justin Rosa from the Bad Boys Club Gemini Films uh, on YouTube. So definitely check that out. It was on the header of the main page of the YouTube channel. And also, I want to shout out all of the 63 people that subscribe to my network in the last two days, a uh, watch ACTV.com, where I upload and produce original content there. So definitely shout out and, and, and shout out and thank you and thank you for supporting and all of that. Continue to support uh, watch ACTV because the more people that subscribe to that, the more I can actually do. Uh, but yeah, anyways, in the last... Uh, and Jay Dell, what's up Jay Dell? You sent me a lot and I haven't reviewed everything yet. So I just decided to do this uh, review. So uh, shout out to Jay Dell. We have great conversation on Instagram regarding uh, Big Brother. So we're both avid watchers and we get emotional about it. So shout out to you Jay Dell. I will listen to everything after. Um, but on my last video, I was really, really animated and ex excited and emotional regarding Taylor's win for HOH and what she decided to do and how she was moving, right? And some of you guys are a bit let down because I don't just watch the aired episodes, the edited episodes. I, I watch the edited episodes. I watch a little bit of the lives, but then I also watch people that talk about it like TV Talks with Tom and I see all the BB updates on Twitter. So I stays up on it. So. I know what's going on right now. You know, when, when the episode ended yesterday, the two hour unnecessary episode, mind you, ended yesterday, I already knew, you know, who they had picked for their sides and what was going on and even now what's happening and all of that. So I'm clued in, right? But I wanna talk about Taylor's reign for a little bit because I'm not going to apologize for how excited and emotional I was because all of my feelings were valid but I am going to say that watching the edited episodes it it pieced together why she allowed for things to happen the way that they were happening at the end of the day she was she should have been in complete control of her HOH and knew and, and knew what she wanted to do but that was not the case she had an idea on what she wanted to do, and that was put up Turner and Monty, but that was the dumbest idea that I had ever heard. If you were really wanting to, your alliance to stay together, you know? And so when she said that to them, and Monty and Turner were like, what? No. What happens if somebody else wins the veto and keeps the noms the same? Like, what are you talking about? No, that, that, can't, that can't work. Everybody's response to that was like, we have four people that we could put up and play around with. And in my mind, I'm like, that makes sense. You also have Terrence and Jasmine, who you know, don't rock with you, sis. So why are we saving them? Because they're black? What? And then I went into my whole thing about how dangerous, you know, the cookout is and how dangerous it was at that particular time. And then some of y'all got in y'all feelings in my comments was like, well, no, the cookout was necessary and it was supposed to happen and... The cookout was a positive thing and a dangerous thing. It was positive because we got a black winner. It was negative and dangerous because now any other race has an excuse to either do what the cookout did or really get out all minor minority players. Because regardless of how we feel, and regardless of the optics, not one season prior to season 23 did a white person say that they wanted to get out a black player. It just happened. The, the damaging and dangerous difference is that the cookout made it poignantly clear what they were doing. And that their goal was to get out anyone that was not black to ensure a black winner. Regardless of what anyone says, that is dangerous vocabulary to use 
regardless of what black people have gone through in this world, what black people have gone through on Big Brother, it was dangerous for them to do it. Xavier reaped the benefits of it. And now we have the black people on this season potentially being harmed by what the cookout did. Regardless of how you feel, that's a fact. Why is it a fact? Because now white people have the ammunition to say, and it's clear as day because Kyle is doing it, what they don't want in the game to have happen now. Whereas before, it was just understood by all the white folks that they were just going to do what they wanted to do. It was never said on camera, and it was never said in, the, in the, uh, live feeds that they were going to get out Davon because she was black, that they were going to get out David because she was black. They just played the game and stuck with the people that they felt similarities with. It Clear as day, Taylor is doing it now, but she's verbalizing it. It's interesting how we are allowing black folks to verbalize the fact that they're using race as a, a playing card. But if a white person does it, it's blown out of proportion and it's so extreme. I don't, and, and you know, and I was talking to Jay Dale and I feel like I'm getting a little extra and I'm not trying to get extra on this camera, but I, I, I will not allow black people to say that it is okay for them to behave in the way that they want to, but it is not okay for any other race to do the exact same thing. Yes, we have been disenfranchised. Yes, we have been segregated. Yes, we have been isolated. Yes, have we racism and murder and all this stuff has happened to black folks. Yes, it has. I'm not negating any of that, but I still feel that that does, that does not give us the okay to use dangerous vocabulary in a way to justify our, our actions, but no other race can do that. I feel the same way with the use of the word. I don't feel that black people should use that word and not want to hear it by any other race. It's just, anyways, that's a whole nother video. I'm sure I'm not gonna win that argument with a lot of you, and that's fine. My opinion's not gonna change. I still feel the same way, and that's that, right? So Taylor is using, verbalizing that she does not want to put Jasmine on the block because she's black. That gives Brittany, Kyle, all of them, the, the ability to say, well, I don't want to put Brittany on the thing because she's white. It is, fair is fair, period. That's just how I feel about it. So I feel like Taylor shouldn't have said that one. I feel like if Taylor really felt that, that should have been language and disgust between her and Jasmine. Her explaining that and, and basically because of the optics and the way that it's going to be perceived. You don't know these people. You don't know Kyle. You don't know Michael. You don't know Turner. You don't know Brittany. You don't know none of these people. And so clearly th that vocabulary should have been exchanged between just you and Jasmine because Monty was on the outs with you from the very beginning. And Terrence been talking about you. And, and, and quite frank, and, and then that goes back to what I've been saying also. She didn't say that. She didn't have that energy towards Terrence. She had that energy towards Jasmine because she's the only black woman left. But you can get rid of a black man, though. You see how we're riding the fence? Like, and again, people can do whatever they want to do and can stand for whatever they want to stand for. But you're, that's doing too much. That's doing way too much. And that stems from the dangerous atmosphere that was created from the cookout being birthed on season 23. We can adopt similar connections despite our differences, or you can agree to disagree. However you feel, Taylor misperformed her whole entire HOH. First, by telling all of these women that she did not get along with that they were safe if she would have won HOH. You're all, you are already in an alliance when you said that. You joined Festy Besties with them because you were safe by your alliance. Why would you tell them that? Why would you tell them that? And then at the end of the day, if they would have, like, y'all couldn't put each other up anyway. Y'all were in Festy Bestie. And so you're gonna promise them after Festy Bestie that you kept them safe when you had the majority of the house? That was dumb. That was dumb. She wasn't thinking long term, she was thinking short term. 
You become HOH, you put up Terrence and Jasmine. They're both black. They're both black. So now you're using the black card to save one of the black people only because you and her are the same in the sense of y'all are both women. Her actions and what she's doing is what all of the white people have been doing throughout every season. The only difference is they never, white people don't have to verbalize it because they're always the majority, usually, and they already know what it is. We're gonna ride with our own. Why we don't think that way, I have no idea. Because if we were the majority, that would already be understood and we wouldn't have to say anything. We're gonna ride with our own if that's just how we feel about it. But the fact that she's, oh, Terrence can go. I want ja I'm not gonna do Jasmine because she's a woman and she's black. That made no sense to me. Maybe because I'm not a chick, but either way, that's doing too much. And you're telling the White House guest doing too much. So Taylor blew her thing all the way to shreds, but I started this off to get into the, my whole point. My whole point of all of that is I understand where her mind was because to be quite honest, it wasn't Taylor's HOH. It was the men's HOH. And the men in particular are Monty and Joseph. It was their HOH. Taylor was just the vessel. It is what it is. Joseph came up with the pooch idea to put himself on because he didn't want Taylor to be backlashed by the girls. And then Monty egged on Taylor about the whole, well, let's get Alyssa out because she gives you every reason to blah, blah, blah. And this is the only way that we'll end up with an opportunity to get rid of the showmans. Taylor had no control. And that just sucks. So leading all the way up into this two hour thing, and I wrote notes down, but honestly, there's no point in me discussing really that two hour episode was just so, it was just so unnecessary. It was just so unnecessary. Um, what I gathered from that is I loved, love, love, love seeing Joseph and Taylor together. I feel like outside of this house, if they're not going to be in a relationship, they're going to be cool. Like they're going to be close. I hope so. But it just seems so genuine. The way that Joseph was just really complimenting her throughout that whole Julie exchange. And he was like, well, who wouldn't be, wouldn't want to be tied up to her? Like, I don't know if he's just doing it for the cameras. I don't know if he's just doing it because he's a lawyer and understanding how to play the game. I mean, he fakes the funk with chess, as does Michael. They fake the funk with chess. To be quite honest, I don't care. I'm beating you in chess. Big brother is not chess. I'm beating you in chess. I, I get it. Mental comp, mental game, st strategy, no. Because none of these people are playing like they play chess. The only one that is playing like they play chess is Michael. Michael is the only one playing like he plays chess. He's the only one playing the game. The only one. And so um, I loved and adored those exchanges between them two. Um, Monty apologizing to uh, Taylor again. Monty is just has just become into my top four now um, because he genuinely and legitly apologizes to Taylor. The conversations that Monty and Taylor have had throughout the, the weeks have gotten more on a human to human level and it's just been great to see. I love it when my people can get along and I love it when we ride for each other because the world is so against us already. It just makes it so much more amazing when we ride for each other. And so to see that, I just, I, and I, honestly, I wish that Jasmine was like that with Taylor and I wish that Terrence was like that with Taylor. Not off necessity because Monty didn't have, doesn't have to say anything to her. But out of the sheer fact and understanding that y'all were wrong to this chick. She is a sister. She is a part of our community. And y'all were wrong to her and have continued to be wrong to her. And only when she's HOH do y'all decide to kiss her butt. I do not like that at all. So Monty moved up in the ranks for me in my top four. Um, yeah, he did, actually. And so I just, I, I just appreciate stuff like that. That was great seeing. The punishments, the 182 tats. The one thing I can say about Terrence is no matter what he has said about Taylor, he genuinely wants to be in this game. I could give Terrence that. 
He genuinely wants to be in this game and he genuinely wants to win. All the Taylor hate aside, he is playing this game only when he is allowed to. And what I mean by that is he's doing what he needs to do in those comps. He, he, he proclaims that he threw the OTEF comp. He didn't have to do that. He, he shouldn't have did that. But he won HOH. He won HOH. As did I. Because I played the HOH competition in my house and I won every letter. I was hitting every letter before all of them was getting it. Not unless they were looking at a 13-inch screen, but I was hitting all my letters. And I was like, what are we doing? I would have I would have been Michael. Michael would have been runner-up to me. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Period. But Terrence beat everybody out except for Michael. Terrence, again, I just wish, I wish he had a better attitude towards Taylor. Because Terrence genuinely wants to be in the game. The way that he treated the 182 tats. Like, what are we talking about? Like, they were like, Terrence! And he got up every time. Terrence! Yeah, what's going on? Terrence, let's go. Terrence, let's do it. Like, what? That is a that says a lot to me. Like, in terms of how he is as a person, outside outside of the Taylor banter, like he's cool. Like, I could understand why he would be rocked with. I don't know how he feels about gay people, but I just, like, that stood out to me. Other than that, um, Indy's speech to the people leaving the house was really like, whoa, tremendous. Again, you don't really know these people. Like, the way she's played herself in this show, she doesn't seem like a good person at all. But her leaving the house, I was like, wow. Wow. Okay, Indy. Cool. Why couldn't you have been that way the entire time? Like, what are we talking about here? So then they understand that there's going to be a double eviction next week. They're told about the split vote and we have HOH competition. I won. Michael was my runner up. Period. And so it is what it is. But Terrence wins. Fair and square. Terrence wins. And I'm happy for him. Because he's showing that he can win things. And that's all that, that matters in this game. Treat people right. Be as honest as you can. Or loyal to your alliance. And win. That's it. That's it. But the split house. Like, Terrence has Joseph, Turner, Alyssa, and Kyle. And him. Those are the five. Then there's Michael, Monty, Jasmine, Taylor, and Britt. On another on another house big brother said y'all have the ability to do this and a lot of people are mad at big brother for allowing them to do that but at the end of the day the onus should be at, up to the people it should be it really should be Sh let these people show their cards let these people show who they are that's what this show is the producers are all have already gotten involved with these people by hinting at how the world perceives them let, let the world continue to perceive them. That's what this game is. It just it is what it is. But luckily, we come out with a mixed house. But I feel bad for certain people. I feel bad for Joseph. I feel bad for Monty. That's who I feel bad for. And right now, Kyle has spilled all of his guts. All, of, all about everything to Terrence. And only is involving Terrence... Because he is the HOH. And he's admitting to Terrence that he wants to have an all-white situation going on with him added after the fact. Everybody's like, oh my god, I hope Terrence realizes what's, ha what's happening. But how could Terrence realize that? He doesn't know. He just knows what he's being fed. And to be honest, he, was he hasn't been fed anything. He hasn't been a part of anything really till up until now. He, he has only, he's only never been given the treatment that Taylor was given, but he's not been a part of anything until now. Someone's throwing up all this information on him because he's in power. That's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. So I wouldn't be mad. I would not be mad at uh, Terrence for siding with Kyle because that's all he's given. Um... So, Jay Dell sends me these messages, and it says, Future BB players, if you're an ally, 
If your ally gets in a, in a showmance, drop them immediately. You will never have their loyalty. This man really just threw away not only his seven person alliance, but his four person alliance with the pound and his final two with Turner for Alyssa. That's exactly what he did. Um, Terrence to Alyssa and Kyle, they are panicking. Uh, Michael nominated Jasmine and Monty for eviction. I knew, I knew that that's what was going to happen. I knew that's what was going to happen. Monty's gonna go home, I knew it. Um, Kyle, I feel like I have a relationship with him, Michael, but he picks Taylor and Monty. Um, I'm sure that they have a relationship with him too. Alyssa says, I thought he would pick you for sure. I did too. Kyle says, Michael's game is literally perfect. He has a relationship with everyone, every person, and he just threw the veto to Indy so that she is guaranteed for Michael in the end. He is playing too good of a game. He has won six comps. Alyssa, he, clean, he cleans everything. He's super nice. He is. Michael is the one to beat. But Michael is about to get out Monty, and I feel bad for Monty. I really feel bad for Monty. Joseph is the one who, Kyle says, Joseph is the one who wants you out the most. Alyssa says, why? Kyle says, I think he realized that you are very smart. He kept saying that you are a physical beast. He was trying to get you out for weeks. He joined the five swatters and, and I saw how good he was at lying. Um, Kyle says, are you mad at me? Alyssa says, no. Why would I be mad? Because I kept a lot of S away from you for a long time. You could tell I wanted to tell you, I'm sorry. I feel bad. Um, reading BB updates, Kyle says to Alyssa, I am worried about the four remaining in there forming a tight alliance, Michael, Brittany, Monty, and Taylor. I think Michael is smart enough to know he can't go to the end with Monty and Taylor. They are two strong competitors. Kyle says to Alyssa, he, Joseph, was telling us everything that you guys were telling him. He would run up to the HOH room and lay everything out. Wow, Kyle is telling his new girlfriend everything in this house. And it's, it's crazy to me. Um, so now we hear uh, Kyle is right that it's going to be five versus three next week. Now that he blew up the leftovers, but he's wrong about how the numbers will fall. It will be Kyle, Alyssa, and Terrence versus Taylor, Michael, Brittany, Monter, and Turner, or Joseph, and Kyle will be the number one target. Did Terrence just whisper their panicking to his bosses, Kyle and Alyssa? Joseph needs to Joseph harder than he has Joseph this whole season. Um, reading the updates, uh, Joseph was ready to go on the block last week to keep the leftovers a secret and Kyle today threw everyone under the bus. The difference, this guy has zero loyalty. This is so sad. Um, I just want Joseph to see the true colors of Kyle as soon as possible. Joseph needs to win the upcoming power of veto or else it's going to be a hard week and we're not ready for it. Um, Joseph and Turner need to be like, do you see how fast he ratted us out? He will do that to you. His only loyalties are to himself. Um, like, wow. So, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, uh, but I'm going to ask Jay Dell. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm doing my review right now, and I'm asking you on my review live. Who is up for elimination? Is it Joseph and Turner is up for elimination? Let me know. But anyways, that's my update. Like, uh, I'm not mad at Terrence. No one has ever included him on anything that seemed very factual and actual, except for Daniel, but Daniel's not there anymore. So he's not thinking anything about race. He's not. He's been talking about Taylor the whole time, and that's just what it is. Um, he's trying to survive, and he's trying to win. He doesn't think that Kyle is coming from a manipulative space where everybody that he thought he can trust manipulated him this whole week. He's not even including Kyle into that equation, which Kyle was a part of that, because Kyle is telling him everything. So I, I don't fault Terrence. And honestly, I don't fault Kyle. I don't fault Kyle. The reason why I don't fault Kyle is because Kyle is white. Kyle saw the cookout and what they did, so Kyle is worried. Kyle is not coming from a place of privilege. When, when you are in privilege all your life, you don't think about coming from a place of privilege. You just know what your life is. And if you're brought into this situation where you have an opposing force, potentially have an opposing force that's coming after you because you're not them, 
then your mind is automatically going to think like Kyle. And I'm sorry, if y'all don't understand that, that's crazy to me. That's, that's life on a one. That's how we've been living. That's how I've been living as a black person all my life. All my life. The cookout just gave everyone else the opportunity to feel that way and verbalize it. You can't be mad. At, well, you can. You can do whatever you want to be. But that's how the cards are played. That's why I said the cookout was dangerous. I said that. It just it is what it is. Now we got to reap what we sow. And now you here have Michael have the ability to get rid of Monty, the only true opposing force to him. Because anybody that Michael goes up against, he's winning. Anybody that Michael goes up against, he's winning. Anybody. The only person that stands in his way is Monty. I would get Monty out. I would. Way before a Jasmine. What are we talking about here? Way before a Jasmine, I would get Monty out. And then look like the prize champ taking out the big kahuna. So the rest of the house is going to follow me after this. I'm not mad at Michael. I'm not. The only person I feel bad for in this whole situation is Monty. That's it. And Joseph. Those are the only two I feel bad for. Because Kyle blew up um, the whole alliance to Terrence and, and Joseph is now on the block. And Monty is so ride or die for this alliance waiting to get to the seven that Michael might potentially take his shot and take him out. Because he has every reason to now. He doesn't know how the rest of the game is going to go. He doesn't know how long this house is going to be split. And so, why wouldn't Michael take the hit? I'm Wesley from AK Nation TV. Let me know what you what you thought about my viewpoints and opinions, and leave your comments below. Deuces.